What's next for Roly Romero? Okay. Listen, guys, it's no secret, you know, Roly Romero has been a bit of a decline. Okay. You know, he's. Hey, Roly, to me, to me, Roly is still a good fighter, bro. Roly is still a good fighter, but he ain't elite. He ain't elite, bro. He just not. He just not. But I am, bro, I'm, I'm going to turn this man's career around. I promise you I am. By the end of this video, I'm turning Roly Romero's career around. I'm going to tell you guys what's next for Roly Romero. Oh, bro. What's next for Roly Romero, okay? Before I do that, we need to go on a brief, brief little uh timeline of Roly's uh Roly's decline. <laughs> okay, this 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 really hurts a lot. I'm not I'm not even gonna try to say a lot too. This hurts a lot. But it all starts with the tank humiliation ritual. Okay. May 28th of 2022, Roly Roman uh, Roly Romero got the tank humiliation ritual. Okay. Knocked him out with one punch. A beautiful counter left caught him clean on the rope oh my god off the rope bro off the rope it, it, it the whole fight changed it came out of nowhere bro it came out of nowhere this was the tank humiliation ritual like i told you guys before getting knocked out like this in front of everybody and taking a big bag bro that's a humiliation ritual bro scratch like that it's a humiliation ritual i mean i don't hey but he got brutally knocked out okay this was the beginning of the end Okay, this was the beginning of the end. But at this point, it's like everybody gets knocked out by Tank, right? So let's see how he can come back from this. Okay. He got gifted a world title. Bro literally got a robbery against an unk. Okay, he got dropped in the he got dropped. By this man, he was losing on every single judge's scorecards. He was losing. And then this re bruh, this autistic, retarded referee literally sat there and you dig what I'm saying? He caught off the fight. When when Roly Romero got him in the got the old man in the corner, none of the punches landed, bro. The old man was bobbing and weaving. You dig what I'm saying? It, that old man was on it was on one that night bro he was bobbing and weaving all of his punches I, it might have looked just because he's old and he's frail and and he just constantly looked concussed it looked like he was out just by the way he was moving but no bro was bobbing and weaving and not one of Rolly romero's punches landed i don't know how that ref bro that ref is blind he should never referee a match ever again but boom Rolly romero is now world title holder at uh 140 right is it 140 or 130 140 i think is it 140 or is it 135 it doesn't matter okay next he got the pitbull humiliation ritual okay uh march 30th 2024 this is the most recent humiliation ritual that roly romero roly romero has went through um my body was going to try to say a lot to you uh this bro <laughs> seeing this was like boom like i like it it was bad i i don't bro why has no one like really talked about this bro no one has talked about this maybe it's because everyone expected roly to lose but bro nobody's talking about how this man roly got obliterate humiliation ritual by Isaac Pitbull Cruz had him wobbled in the first round could have got him out of there in the first round bro like made him look stupid wobbled him multiple times he was out on his feet multiple times the fight could have been stopped way earlier dropped him multiple times bro bro this was bad this was works worse than the Javante Tank Davis humiliation ritual Okay, they fed him to Pitbull Cruz. Pitbull Cruz destroyed him. 
for what he did to that old man, that robbery that he put on that old man, that was literal universal karma, okay? That was karmic energy coming towards Rolly Romero, all right? He deserved it. You dig what I'm saying? But what's next for Rolly Romero, okay? I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. I done came up with how to save this man's career. All right. I know the next fight for Rolly Romero, and I know what weight it should be at. This is the perfect fight. I don't know why nobody has been talking about this, bro. This is the perfect fight for Rolly. This will literally rejuvenate his career. Rolly Romero versus Adrian Broner at the catch weight of 144 pounds. Okay. Listen. 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 Hear, hear me out, hear me out, nickel. Rolly Romero is a, walks around from anywhere to 160 to 180, right? And he's been looking chunky recently. Adrian Broner also, pack, he's, he's a little man, but he's a 147 pounder. Rolly is a 135 pounder. Rolly already is a weight bully. Rolly can get to 144. He's obviously not as skilled as the other 135 pounders. Ryan would do him dirty, even though Rolly Romero pieced up Ryan um, a long time ago. Um, but they were kids. You dig what I'm saying? So, and Ryan got power now. So I see Rolly Romero getting brutally humiliation ritual by Ryan Garcia. But 144 catch weight. He's already a weight bully. You know he shouldn't even be at 135. And his style, you know, with his style, I feel like he would do good at, you know, uh, a higher weight class, you know, 144, and then he could build his way up to 147, okay? Maybe use that, uh, that, uh, that, um, that, that weight, that lower weight skill gap, you dig what I'm saying? Because, you know, the lower weight classes have more skill than the higher weight classes, so, or, you know, for the most part. Now, I'm going to tell you guys why this is the fight to make. You dig what I'm saying? This was, will be an amazing presser. Okay, amazing press conference. You dig what I'm saying? Adrian Broner, CTE Riddle, old man unk. He's old, mad, and he's bitter. Okay? Get this nigga on the stage. Give him a mic. He's going to say something stupid, bro. Rolly Romero is also CTE Riddled and a little autistic. This would be the best press conference of all time. Okay? Best press conference of all time. Bro. I'm, I'm going to skip to my last point. PPV galore. Nigga. PPV galore. You know how many um, pay-per-views this would sell? With how these guys talk? Bro, this, first off, it's, it, it'll you can sell this as the last chance. You dig what I'm saying? Roy Romero, last chance. If he lose to Adrian Broner, it's over for this man. Okay? If he lose to Adrian Broner, it's over. And um, he can, it, it, it favors Roly, right? It favors Roly. So Roly could possibly get a, a viral KO off of this, which is how I would see the fight going. You dig what I'm saying? But it's the last chance for both of them. Put it all on the line. You dig what I'm saying? Careers on the line for this fight. And if Broner wins, Adrian Broner come back. You dig what I'm saying? He used to be big, you know. Adrian Broner come back. This would be perfect for him. Okay, this would be perfect if he beats Rolly Romero. He might even could you know retire off of that. He might, he might, he could retire off of that if he beat Roy Romero, a young 28 year old. You dig what I'm saying, bro? That would be good. That would be very good for Adrian Broner. Listen, PPV galore. Okay, literally the most autistic press conference of all time. You dig what I'm saying? It would be amazing. It would be amazing. This is how you save Roy Romero's career. After this, after he knocks out Adrian Broner, okay. He can move back down to 140, okay? 
give him, you know, bro, give him, uh, what's his name? Give him Frank Martin. Rolling Romero versus Frank Martin. <laughs> Real talk, bro. Why, why, why can't we make that fight happen? Who is Frank going to fight? Hmm? Who is Frank going to fight? We already see, we already saw how he, he was on a uh, Skeletor mode, uh, even trying to get to 135. Put Frank Martin at 140, Rolly Romero at 140. Scray like that. I just saved this man's career. I just saved this man's career. This is what's next for Rolly Romero, okay? Now, if you guys agree or disagree, you know, let me know down in the comments. I don't know why you would disagree, okay? Because, like, I, I this could, you know, real talk. Rolly Romero versus Adrian Broner. Yo, yo, bro, Adrian Broner is signed by Don King. Is he not? Is he not under Don King promotions? Bro is literally, like, bro. <laughs> Don King. He is signed by Satan himself. He will do anything, bro. If they give him Rolly Romero, he will get to 144. I promise. He's already under Don King, who is literally the devil okay lucifer i don't know how, how that old old man is still kicking around bro after all the sins he, that 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 man has committed his body is frail you dig what i'm saying the man is, is, is bro he looks terrible i don't know how he's still alive i, I thought he died i thought don king died i literally just re rewatched the adrian broner Blair Cops press conference <laughs> cuz I remember how I remember how uh, stupid it was bro AJ brother coming on stage screaming at Blair Cops talking about he going to kill him he going to shoot him you did what I'm saying is AJ brother really like that he might be I don't know you did what I'm saying he might be but it was amazing imagine we get that against Rolly bro perfect but hey you know what I'm saying? That's the video. You dig what I'm saying? Let me know if y'all agree or disagree down in the comments. You dig what I'm saying? I genuinely think this would be good for Rolly and Broner. Okay? Because Broner's career is already over. It's already over. They give him Rolly Romero. He's going to take the fight. Especially signed under, uh, under Lucifer. Bro, that nigga taking the fight. He going to take the fight for sure. And, 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 and listen. Adrian, nah, he's getting knocked out. But hey, that's the video you did. What I'm saying, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. I really don't care, bro. I don't care. I don't care. Kita, out.